All right, let's dive into the world beneath our feet. Crude oil extraction and refining. So, crude oil is basically ancient, buried organic material that's been cooked and squished for millions of years. To get it out, oil companies use a mix of geologists, satellites, and special sensors to find likely spots deep underground or beneath the ocean floor. Once they spot a good location, it's time to drill. Huge rigs, sometimes taller than a skyscraper, drill straight down, sometimes over a mile deep. If they're in the middle of the ocean, these rigs float or stand on massive legs anchored to the seabed. Once they hit the oil reservoir, the natural pressure underground actually pushes oil up the well. But as that pressure drops, they use pumps, think giant mechanical straws, to pull the rest up. And yeah, sometimes they inject water, steam, or even special gases down another pipe to force more oil out. Now crude oil by itself isn't super useful, it's a dark, sticky mess. So it heads to a refinery which is basically a giant chemical puzzle factory. First the oil is heated in a furnace until it vaporizes. Those vapors rise inside a distillation tower, a huge vertical chamber, where the temperature drops as you go higher. Different parts of the oil cool and condense at different heights. At the bottom, you get heavy stuff like asphalt. In the middle there's diesel and kerosene. At the top, lighter stuff like gasoline and gases. Then, extra processes like cracking and blending turn those parts into fuel for your car, jet engines, plastic, and even toothpaste. So, next time you fuel up or use anything plastic, remember, there's a whole epic journey from the bottom of the earth to your hands.